So today, let's make a simple, easy curry with drumstick and dry fish. I bet you, if you try this, you will love it. Let's see the ingredients. So here are the things that we primarily require to make the Moringa dry fish curry. First and foremost, here I have taken only one drumstick. One ripe tomato, which is finely chopped. Three shallots. Three green chilies. And five cute little Cora dry fish. So next thing is a uh, half coconut. We need one teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder. You can go for a normal red chilli powder also and you can vary. If you like more spicy one, you can always increase the quantity of chilli. Half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and salt. Uh, we actually don't need salt because uh, as you all know my dear friends, dry fish is always preserved with lots of salt. So we don't need salt but in the end of the curry we will uh, check it out if, we, if at all we need we can add a little bit more salt. Uh, I am using a chati, mud earthen pot. I make all my fish curry and uh, mutton curry in this. If you don't have this no problem you can always make it in your steel or aluminium wok no issues. So I have put this on the gas, I have switched on the gas. And we are going to put the drumstick, then goes the green chilli, it is slipped from the center, okay, and then goes our tomatoes, one tomato and our cleaned dry fish. Now in this goes one glass of water. A different way of cooking. Generally 99% cooking starts with the first seasoning. No? Put the oil in a wok and there you go blah blah blah. But this one is a different one. Okay. In this goes the turmeric powder. In this I am adding the turmeric powder. Okay. And also our red chilli powder. We mix it. Water should not be too less neither too much. It should dip well that's the key and we are gonna place a lid on this and cook it. And we need to cook on a low flame. So let this cooking go on on a low flame for next 8 to 10 minutes. And meanwhile, I told you we have taken half of coconut. Yeah, we are going to cut it and make a paste of that. Now this is half fresh coconut beer friends. And in that I have added only 3 shallots. And we are going to put little water into that and make a fine paste of it. So while our curry is getting cooked and boiled, let's prepare the coconut paste. Let's open and check our curry. Our curry is boiled. Okay. Now very simple. The coconut paste that we made it, we are going to add into this. And gently stir it and gently stir it my dear friends because uh, the fish will be very tender after cooking. I have made the gas on full flame and we are just going to cook for 2 more minutes and our curry is ready. Now there is an option for you if you want to have it without any oil you just can enjoy the curry like this with hot rice. Or if you want to season it, you can take little coconut oil and put little mustard seed into that and curry leaves and season it. So I am not putting any oil in this and we are going to wait for 2 minutes till this gets a little boil and then we are going to turn it off and enjoy with rice. Our steaming moringa dry fish curry is ready. 
taste it. If you find that the oil, salt is a little less, you can always add salt in the top. And for seasoning, I told you it's optional. You want to season it, you can season it with mustard seed and curry leaves. I'm not doing it. So this is my no oil dry fish curry. No oil dry fish curry. Okay, so I'm hungry. I'm going to go and have my lunch. You guys take care of yourself and do subscribe our channel if you haven't. Like, share it with your friends and loved ones. Stay at home. Take care of yourself. God bless. Sayonara.